How about Ole Miss, Connor Mack? Are they ready to answer the bell? What a game here. Ole Miss, Alabama, CBS, Brad Nessler, Gary D. Uh, call this game. We've got uh, Alabama here, 15-point uh, home favorites. Uh, the total, uh, 78 and a half. It's gone up, believe it or not, 75 and a half up to 78 and a half. You know, at some point, at some point, do you get interested in the under? Because we've said for weeks now, is Ole Miss defense better? I thought against Louisville, they, they did look like they were a little bit better this year. Against Tulane, after struggling a bit, you know, the first quarter and a bit against Tulane's offense, they shut him down the rest of the way after that. So Ole Miss defense is getting better. They can get after the quarterback a little bit. D-line's a little bit better. Their coverage game's better. Um, obviously, this is going to be a tall order. You know, you're taking on this uh, Alabama offense. Uh, Bryce Young and the offensive look great. Even in the Florida win where they barely escaped a couple weeks ago, the offense did their part. They moved the ball. They played well. It was really uh, the defense that let Alabama down. And to me, Connor, that's why Ole Miss can hang around in this game. I'm buying into a little – I'm drinking a little hotty toddy Kool-Aid here. Uh, in this game with uh, Ole Miss, anything above a two touchdowns, I like Ole Miss. I think that I think they are. I don't want. I, I hate the word for real. It's such a cliche, but I think they have it in them to give Alabama everything they could handle because they did last year in Oxford, and they didn't have anywhere close to the defense that they do now. And they had a much better offense in terms of skill, position, talent. They had you know Mac Jones. They had Jalen Waddle. You know they had, had Devonte Smith. They had all their weapons at receiver last year. And Ole Miss still went toe-to-toe with Alabama head-to-head last year. And now I think Ole Miss is every bit as good, if not better, offensively with Matt Corral uh, leading the offense this year. I mean, that, and, and they have a bye week, too. Let's not forget that little part of this handicap. Bye week for Ole Miss uh, coming in. Now, you could say Alabama had a bye week because they played you know, Southern Miss last week. Uh, but still, no, this is a legit bye week for Ole Miss. Uh, and an extra time to prepare, put wrinkles in the playbook. You know Lane Kiffin is going to do that. He's going to throw some things there that Alabama's defense isn't expecting uh, going into this game. But Matt Corral's been awesome. Uh, obviously, he hasn't played anyone like Alabama. Louisville's the best team they've played so far. But nine touchdowns, no interceptions, almost 1,000 passing yards already, 68% completions. You know, the run game has been absolutely terrific uh, for this uh, team. Uh, no doubt about that, uh, the way they've been able to run the football. It's been uh, impressive. And again, with their receiving core, they've got some dynamic playmakers uh, on the uh, outside as well, uh, this uh, Ole Miss offense. So I think they, they can do a lot of things here uh, in this game uh, against uh, Alabama. You know, they can run the football with Jerry on Ely. He's absolutely outstanding. He's getting, you know, 100 yards in a lot of these games. Uh, the receiving core, like I say, they've got weapons. they got Jonathan Mingo got Braylon Sanders. They've got Dontario Drummond. I mean, that is a trio of terrific receivers right now for Lane Kiffin in this offense. And look, the, the only time we've seen Alabama's defense against a legit team, Florida, throw out the Miami game. That's not a legit team. All that is is an underachieving, poorly coached mess. Don't give Alabama any credit for beating Miami. Miami stinks this year. I think we figured that out. So all of a sudden we're going, wow, what a great job in the opener against Miami. Is it? Because Miami looks like a, a, a shit show this season. Do we give Alabama credit for that win? I don't think we'd give them as much credit for that win. They're one legit opponent so far. Legit. Like, I mean, the elite opponent, Florida. And Florida moved the ball up and down the field with Emory Jones, especially in the second half against that Bama defense. If Florida can do that, why can't Ole Miss and this electrifying offense do it, especially with a bye week and extra time to prepare? So, I'm on the underdog here. I think we've got a barn burner. I think Alabama's got to work to win this game. Not just, never mind the spread. I think they got to work to win this game straight up. Never mind uh, winning by two touchdowns or more in this one. So I'm on Ole Miss. I'm drinking this Kool Aid here. That's hotty toddy for Ole Miss. Off the bye, they gave Alabama fits last year, and I think they do it again here. What do you think, Connor Mack? I think they do too. I think Alabama can score all over them. I just see it back and forth. I don't. I think Old Miss's defense has been a little better, but look who they've played. I mean, it's you know it's been all right, um, but they'll be able to score. I think on Bama here a little bit. I'm with you. It's over the two touchdowns, even if they're down. I like the back doors open when you have 15 here. I lean them. I always like Bama. My first half, I always usually never go against it. I'm gonna dig. I don't know if I'm gonna go there in this game. 
Uh, but full game, I think the 15, I lean with Ole Miss. I think the games might be similar to last year. Uh, like you talked about, Alabama, the only one team they played with Florida. And I think Florida, I don't know what to make of Florida. I mean, I think they're good, but I don't know if they're elite at the top there. And the totals, yeah, crazy high. So, I mean, can it get there? I don't know. Yeah, maybe at some point if this keeps rising, maybe you take the under. But I I wouldn't take the under in this game. I just wouldn't. You know, it'd be over or pass. I think there's points all game long. Yeah, I mean, Jerry and Ely, great running back, great quarterback, and Matt Corral, the three receivers I mentioned. Yep. I mean, they got weapons galore. It's like a bunch of toys, and Lane Kiffin gets to play with them every week. Now that That's how explosive and dynamic they are. And with a great offensive line, they brought every starter back. You know, they're taking this shit seriously. They got it. You know how hard it is to get a freaking team from the South fully vaccinated, you know, for uh, yeah. for the season? And somehow Lane Kiffin did that. So they're taking this season like really seriously. Like we think we're good. We want to make sure there's nobody, you know, we're protecting ourselves. So we don't lose players from COVID and all this other stuff because they think they could have a special season. That's why they went the uh, above and beyond in terms of making sure, you know, the, they got everybody vaccinated. They didn't want this season to go off the rails for them because of absences. Um, and uh, because I think they know they could have a special year and uh, this is going to be that test, but I think they're up for it. I think they give Alabama a game. You're right. I can only look over even at 78 and a half. I could only look over the total in this game. You had 90 points two years ago with these two teams and yet 111, 63 to 48 last year uh, with these two teams. I mean, you, I mean, 42 to 38 Connor gets you the over. And I think yeah. you could get 42 to 38 as people really looking at this and saying 42, 38, isn't a plausible final score possibility with these two teams and these two offenses. That's why it, it's even difficult at 78 and a half to bet under uh, with these two teams. Uh, it's just a question of how much better is Ole Miss defense this year. This is the game. We find that out.